Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to your French lesson of the day. So it's la leçon du jour. Today we will see le passé composé, really, really important tense. So le passé composé is like uh, all the composed tense of the French language. First you will have to use avoir or être and then second part is the participe passé. Okay, so first thing, keep in mind that uh, avoir is used uh, for most of the verbs. All right, but then we're using et for all these verbs we call les verbes réfléchis, so all the verbs starting with se, okay, and then we're using et as well for the following verbs aller, venir, entrer, sortir, arriver, partir, monter, passer, descendre. Rester, tomber, devenir, naître, mourir. Okay, so keep in mind that all these verbs are using être when it comes to passé composé, or then more generally to all the composed terms of the French language. Okay, so the second part is le participe passé. So for the first group of verbs, these verbs uh, are ending with a er. So you only need to take to take this e uh, er away and to put e uh, accent aigu. So you will pronounce e, okay? And then, well, it's quite easy because it's the same pronunciation. So infinitive form is parler, and then participe passé is parler, okay? When it comes to the second group of verbs, so ending with er, so take this er away and put i e instead, and then, so infinitive is choisir. And it will become for the pas participe passé form choisi. Okay. Uh, other category, but then many exceptions with this one. But anyway, so verbs ending with er e. So you just take take this er e away and you put u instead. So a good example is vendre. Okay, and it be it will become vendu. Okay, so as I as I said, the difficult thing is that we've got many exceptions. So let's see. Uh, well, the stars of the exceptions. <laughs> so the first one is être, and it becomes été, avoir, eu, faire, fait, venir, venu, prendre, pris, écrire, écrit, dire, dit. Voir, vu, tenir, tenu, mettre, mis, ouvrir, ouvert, naître, né. Okay, so now what we need to see is the present form of avoir or être because that is the form you will have to use in the first part. Okay. So, avoir is j'ai, tu as, il a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. Let's see them again. J'ai, tu as, il a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. And then être, je suis. Tu es, il est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont. You can repeat them. Je suis, tu es, il est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont. Okay, so a few examples now with uh, avoir. J'ai mangé. Tu as fini, il a écrit, elle a été, nous avons eu, vous avez pris, ils ont acheté, elles ont choisi. Ok, so we can repeat them again. J'ai mangé, tu as fini, il a écrit. Elle a été, nous avons eu, 
Vous avez pris. Ils ont acheté. Elles ont choisi. Okay, so few examples now with être. And so keep in mind that if you're using être, you will have to uh, change a little bit your participle passive form. So if it's if the subject is feminine, then you will have to add e at the end. If the subject is plural, you will have to add s at the end. And if the subject is feminine and plural, you will have to add e s at the end of your participle passé. Okay, but then keep in mind that in most of the cases you don't pronounce them. Okay, so in this case we've got je suis arrivé. Tu es parti. Il est venu. Elle est rentrée. So just one little second, because in this case it's quite interesting, because elle is feminine, so we need and we have to put this final e, okay? But then rentrée, you can see that you don't pronounce this final e, it's rentrée. Elle est rentrée, okay? Nous sommes restés. Vous êtes tombés. Ils sont descendus. Elles sont allées. Okay, so let's repeat that again. Je suis arrivé. Tu es parti. Il est venu. Elle est rentrée. Nous sommes restés. Vous êtes tombés. Ils sont descendus. Elles sont allées. I do hope it was clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch the video again and again. Have a nice day. Au revoir.